Nahida! We brought a friend! Are you busy? I thought I told you that it won't help to bring anyone here. We just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where and who are you talking to? You don't see that little person in front huh? of you? Uh, I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Hold on. Over there. Is that? Wow. How perceptive. Does she have invisible antennae? Miss Dunyarzad, she's... she's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Her condition's really bad, and she's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? I... can sense her aura. I... There are also lingering feelings of something like regret or disappointment. What happened? Do you believe us now? The sub -Zero's festival has been repeating itself. So, you think the sages are behind this? Yeah, they've always been against us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Subzerus festival as a sick joke. Hmm. You have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. Right! Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha! The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. A Gnosis can do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical. It's being powered by the Gnosis of Sumeru's Archon. So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned, what did she say? She said, and Paimon quotes, The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people? Hmm, wait. I get the grants knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for, but compiling the entire populace's wisdom? How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Oh yeah, that sounds about right. What do you think? This storyline is trash. What else is going on besides you and others having deja vu? That is what I'm thinking. Oh wait, that's not part of the selections. Um, hmm. Hmm, this might work. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. <sighs> that doesn't sound right. I, I Sounded need to right in my head. Think yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Nahida said, The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. Hmm. <sighs> that doesn't sound right. The way you was talking, it, it, it sounded right. Okay. It sounded right. Nahida said, the Akasha rela- Okay, Nahida said- My mind feels- You mean, the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh, 
now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. Is the... I'm, I'm gonna call this A. Um, is that the little voice we keep hearing? Let's say, uh, y'all know how the Traveler and Paramount has a little Minecraft room. They go to sleep in this dang dang rope simulation happens. You know, the voice is talking, woo woo woo. I can't remember the precise words. Instant replay will happen behind me. And then this thing, you know, they wake up dazed and confused. And ready to do the exact same thing they did yesterday. They jump of course. Is that the little A we talking about? That little voice? That men in black type, type of ish? When the desert dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, knowledge always comes at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? Yep. And she definitely had a point. Knowledge does come at a price. Have y'all seen college? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? <sighs> I love it. In that case, we should take off our Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. Yeah, I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. Mark my words, when this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing to the public. How does everyone feel? Huh? What is it? Oh, that! Paimon knows what you're talking about! It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha Terminal! The sound of a beep? Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway! Did you hear that? I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. We took off our Akasha terminals. Phase runtime has exceeded its expected length. At this rate, there may be casualties. But, we cannot lose all of our progress. remembers everything! <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. We definitely took off our Akashi terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? <sighs> but now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nahida, you've never told us anything about yourself. 
Hmm. I guess I'm the moon. The moon? Wasn't that the result of our divination? Anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth. So you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. <sighs> okay then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Paimon's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. Yeah. <laughs> 